So I think the positive news is that a lot of the research at the moment is showing that both employers and employees are actually really positive about the changes that these emerging technologies like AI can bring. Um, there are also some indications that um, there are some concerns about uh, the impact that these changes could have on people's roles and also that some employees uh, don't necessarily have full trust in employers to, uh, to implement it. So I think there's a real job here for CIOs and leaders more broadly actually to make sure that they're communicating a very positive message to the organisation and to make sure that they're reassuring their people that they are going to play a critical role in uh, landing these new technologies. We've seen from previous implementations such as robotic process automation that actually these changes can really enhance roles such as stripping out some of the more mundane elements of roles and this has been shown to really enhance employee engagement so leaders can really capitalize on these sorts of stories and use them to uh, really deliver some positive messages and reassure their people that they are going to play a crucial role in the future. So Beringo are focusing our support on three main areas. The first one is uh, the employee value proposition. So we encourage organizations to focus in equal measure on the people elements of technology change as much as the technology itself. And this means really getting to understand your existing capabilities and skills in your organization, as well as those that are going to be needed in the future to drive and support the technology and really understanding the learning, the development and the culture that's going to be necessary to create this strong employee value proposition that's going to enable you to sustain and retain those skills over time. The second one is change management. So we are working with clients to land technology change in a way that really excites people. Our new Change Evolved proposition focuses on not only landing technology change, but also delivering behavioural change that's really going to sustain this technology change over time. And finally, organisation design. So any big change, in particular technology change, will dramatically change the capabilities uh, that an organisation needs. And we help organisations to design and deliver an effective organisation structure that will help to deliver the strategy for the future. So in conclusion, it feels that there clearly are uncertain times ahead for CIOs, but there's a lot of reason for optimism and a lot of helpful tools available to CIOs and leaders more broadly to make sure that technology lands in a way that's successful both for the business as a whole and for its people. In this series, we shared some insights around sustainability, optimised supply chain, creating value uh, through the enablers of technology, addressing digital risk and resilience, and also, of course, nurturing the right talent to help you on your transformation journey. We hope that you can join us for the networking event for digital transformation and technology leaders in early 2024.